looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Hello, right, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go going over the Team of the Year market crash that is coming pretty soon, guys. As you guys do know, today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, they did reveal the team of the year players the promo all that stuff so if you guys missed that stream head over to my morning video go check that out all you gotta do is watch that it'll be your one-stop shop for all the info cards card art stats reviews opinions everything and so forth and everything else you guys need so just pretty much go check that out and you guys are good to go now first guys yes my hair is rough it's super rough i know getting a haircut today it's finally time I haven't gotten a haircut since october 27th it's been a while uh, i've been locked away caveman vibes you guys know the deal but we're done with that. We got to get back into it. We got to get back. We got to look decent for people um, because we're not, we're not looking too great in this cave. But again, you guys can't always see up here. So it's, it's been it's been okay. But anyways, guys, let's get into the video. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the noti bell, come join the family, like the video, of course, and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for showing support. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you guys need coins, about reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 30% off. Now let's get into it, guys. So the players were revealed. They are not officially on the block. Now, things on the block may start to change throughout the day if you guys do pay attention. So let's say, like, again, I'm giving you examples, not direct things. Go check out the video for all the direct players. Let's just say, right, uh, Deshaun, uh, Deshaun Watson or something like that. You know, 96 overall, 97 overall. Uh, best quarterback in the game. If you start checking out the block, you'll see quarterbacks start to come down. That's not an exact um, thing. I'm just making that up right now. Point being is that things will start changing based on what does come out or what was revealed. Now, it won't be entirely uh, game changing or game breaking just yet because remember, people will start to sell in speculation. But when the cards actually do drop and the market over floods, because we, we won't know the extent of the market crash until we know the, uh, the pull rates, right? Like, are they going to be popping out in crazy bunches and the pull rates going to be crazy? Are they going to be super rare and not pop out of packs as much as we think? If that's the case, prices will stay up a bit. But for the most part, market crash is coming, guys. There will be some players that are dominant at their position that take over. And it may not be an entire market crash, right? Like, um, let's just say Deion Sanders might not be affected. Maybe Austin Eckler isn't affected. He's an LTD. Maybe Michael Strand won't be affected because he's a 97 overall left end and we get a 96, right? But we will get guys like offensive linemen who are just as good as Marshianda, but not, you know, but, but cheaper. We will get guys who are going to be, you know, like top linemen in the game. We'll get guys maybe a tight end. Maybe defensive linemen, right? That do take over their position market. So you may see like quarterbacks, running backs, uh, defensive tackles, and cornerbacks, right? Those are all down. All those prices are down because we got bangers in, um, in team of the year. But that's not always the case. Maybe like, you know, maybe we get Travis Kelsey at tight end. He's too slow. And a lot of people decide, okay, well, I guess it's not worth it. So that's going to be pretty much the thing there. And that's kind of the issue what we're dealing with. It's just going to be that exactly. So guys, for some more clarification on certain spots you want to be checking out. So as you guys do know, we're getting an Xavier Howard. Xavier Howard 94 speed. Is that meta? Maybe not, right? May not be meta, but he can be powered up. And he's a 96 overall, so that's going to be 97. Which effectively makes him a 95 speed corner with all the thresholds. So pretty much you're going to start seeing here. You're going to see guys like Steve Vincent start coming up in the block as people get online to start selling things. You're going to see guys like Rob Woodson drop a little bit because he's a 97 overall corners. And, you know, that's not just him, right? It's going to be for every position. So let's say Xavier Howard is great, right? Fred Warner, middle linebacker, 87 speed. Middle linebacker mark's not going to be touched. First off, people don't really care for middle linebackers this year, so that's not going to be touched. Although, you know, London Fletcher may come down a little bit, but again, that speed is not usable. Fred Warner will not be getting any kind of big deal there. Stephon Diggs, 94 speed. We'll get powered up to a 95 speed, and we'll have all his route running stuff. So you're going to probably start seeing guys like Mark Clayton or a few other guys who may fall within the same speed category, right? So Mark Clayton's a 94, that's 95. If Savon Diggs route running, Stephon, you know, surpasses everything and based on thresholds and stuff, you may start, pay, you know, bringing these markets down. And then, as like I said, things are going to keep coming down more and more as we do go through this. So definitely make sure you're selling things that like, okay, so let's say you have some players that didn't crash yet. You may want to sell them now because, again, players may not crash just yet because they don't have a player that's going to overtake them. So people don't speculate and sell. But tomorrow when things are coming crazy out of packs, the market overall may just drop, right? It's just like it's like in real life, right? When there's like a stock market crash, even stocks that had no part in why this crash will still go down because overall people are losing money. And when people are losing money, people start to panic, sell, and start to sell everything, right? So let's say you had Randy Moss and Mark Clayton for 450K. You bought them both for, right? Now, because of tomorrow, they start to crash because, you know, Stefan Diggs and some of the other guys. So you start selling these guys. People are going to start selling them for like 350, 340. Let's just say they keep going down. Now you're losing like 110, 110 100K a piece, right? So when you lose 100K a piece, you start to panic that, you know, oh my God, I used to have 3 million coins. And if I keep selling players for 100K less, I'm going to lose coins. So you just start selling everything. You're like, I can't risk losing more coins than I already, you know, I earned. So you start selling guys like, 
your Aaron Donald or your Richard Sherman or whatever else you have on your team because you just want to make all your coins back in stacks, save it, wait for the crash to happen. So now this creates like a kind of like a Black Tuesday effect. Everyone keeps selling off their stock. Everyone keeps selling off their players. Things will come down. So even if your players aren't affected, they will eventually be affected in some way, shape, or form. So just make sure you're staying wary of that. Check out today. Check your binder. If things are unaffected, like, and if you don't know if they've been affected, if like you don't follow the stock market or the follow the prices, go over to uh, Mudhead and check out the prices tab and click on your player. Check out his prices. And if your player's price has been consistent or it dropped a little bit or went up a little bit, sell now before there's a big drop or something like that. Definitely take advantage of that. And again, if you're a God Squad that doesn't care about money and you're rich and you play weekend league every day and all that stuff. Uh, this might not apply to you, but it applies to many people. So of course, always take keep that in mind. Again, it's not crashing too bad yet. Like I said, as everyone gets on and sees all the reveals and goes through everything, we will see a much larger crash. As well as mainly, the main thing is that uh, it's going to affect tomorrow, right? When it actually does drop, we'll probably be seeing it Tuesday, 10:30 a.m. Eastern time. You know, like a team of the year Tuesday. So that's exciting. But that's I don't know if they'll drop all of them at once. So remember, this could be a delayed crash. Like. As the week goes on, like they've, in years past, they have dropped a few players at once. So, like, they'll drop offense uh, specialists first, then defense, then offense. Or they drop them in batches. Like, today we're dropping Jamal Adams, let's say, uh, Sherman and Jair Alexander. And then tomorrow we're dropping the kicker and the punter. And the next day, the last day we're dropping the 97 Russell Wilson and the 97 Donald. They've done stuff like that. They've done stuff like that with NFL Honors. So, I don't know how, what format they're going to take when they drop these players. But, again, if they're all at once... Again, we'll know all this as everything goes out and the information is released, which I will know, you know, pretty soon. But again, just like I said, it may be a delayed crash. And if they drop them all at once, which I don't think they will, a lot will happen pretty fast, guys. So make sure you're checking out your team. Go team skim, like I've been saying all week. Definitely stay on top of the team skimming strategy, which is just checking out players that you really don't need right now that still retain a price value. Sell them while you still can make coins back on them. Now, things overall are going to start changing if you just check out all offense, all defense. Again, it's really early in the morning. People aren't all on yet. Some people are working. Monday morning, you know, Monday morning grind. So things will change rapidly. Mark Clayton should keep coming down with the news of Stephon Diggs and everything. Aaron Foster might keep coming down as well, uh, depending on the running back and the stats, you know, depending, because everything's going to be circumstantial to the position. But like I said, when those packs come out tomorrow, is when we're really going to know the extent of what's going to happen, right? So if they drop packs, everyone opens up and the rates are horrible. You're wasting hundreds of thousands of coins, draining your bank for all this. Cards may stay, you know, the market may not be killed as bad. Now, if people start opening these packs, and they're flying out left and right. People are spamming the hell out of them. People have more coins this year than usual. And, you know, that's just kind of flying out of packs left and right. And then, of course, you go do your solos. You get the free auctionable one. And this just keeps happening, guys. We could be in for a huge crash tomorrow. So definitely be ready for that, guys. Here, there's two ways to take this crash, right? There's two, there's two sides to every coin. On the one side, you have not a lot of money. You have a whole team built. And you're scared of, you know, losing, you know, 40% of your team's value. You go right now. You team skim. You sell things that you think may lose value tomorrow that still have good value today. Like maybe a Joe Montana. Who's a master set, so I don't know if that'll be affected too much. Maybe Heinz Ward. And you try to, you know, try to preserve as many coins as you can. On the flip side, there's people who actually have the issue right now of the fact that you guys have too many coins, right? You have like five million coins, two million coins, three million coins, so on and so forth. And you just have it sitting there and you're like, should I buy it right now? No, you wait till tomorrow and you sit there and you get on at 10:30 a.m. when they are releasing, and you sit there and just do this. Just refresh over and over and over again. Whatever you like, keep refreshing. And you're going to see, you know, Rich Gannon go up for 180. You're going to see Team of the Year players go for like 250 real quick and then back up to 400K. You're going to see like, so this is this is the trend. Like when Team of the Year first comes out, they'll be like this. Down, 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 down. Right here, right here, right here. And then it's going to right back up. And then it's going to find a median. So like you'll find players for 350K. And then after an hour or two when it settles, they're really 450K. And you could have made 100K in an hour just by buying them when they were being fluctuated. But that is, that's if the packs are good and they're flying out, right? So just be on tomorrow morning at 1030. Try to take advantage again. The people who will benefit the most are the people on the second side of the coin that do have the benefit of having a lot of coins and they come in clean with a lot of coins, no value lost, and they could just go away and just snipe left and right, right? Now, the people that are going to struggle a bit more will be the people who have to team skim and try to like just preserve coins. At the end of the day, you're not gaining anything. It's more like, it's more like a, if you guys have ever done risk management in college or in school or whatever, it's kind of like avoid, uh, you're trying to just prevent loss, right? You're not, you're, you're going to get lost, but you're trying to prevent the maximum amount of loss you could get. So you're, in, in the end of the day, you're still losing regardless, but in the other way, you're, you're getting profit. You're actually making coins, making money if you sell coins back, you know. So definitely stay tuned, guys. Be around for 1030. You don't want to miss that market crash. And again, if you guys are working or you're busy or at school, I mean, I don't condone this, but I'm going to give you, tell you how to do it if you condone it, right? Go on the Madden app, sign in, link it to your EA. You can actually snipe directly from there and probably make a good amount of money at the time. Just make sure you always check prices before you buy, guys. People sometimes just buy blindly and don't realize like, oh, wait, so the trend is they're actually up right now or... They were lower an hour ago, right? Or you saw that card at 350. Like, so just, just make sure you're checking these out. But guys, about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. 
turn on the noti bell like the video of course and if you haven't already comment down below let me know who your favorite team of the year revealed player was let me know down below i'll reveal mine later tonight probably on twitter or probably pretty soon uh so let me know down below i want to see what all you guys are what are your thoughts on this and if you're new subscribe smash the like button as always guys come get 50 likes on this video thank you so much for all the support i'm out peace